an attempt to do the so-called first climate international, bringing radical environmental movements uh, from across the earth together to fight fossil capital. We are facing um, directly the causes, the causes of the climate change. So to talk about climate change, we need to put these struggles in the center of the conversation. We need to acknowledge that there's a war being waged by governments and companies and the whole infrastructure of capitalism against society. And what is clear at this moment is we need to organize to fight back. We don't have that time. We are talking like we have 20 years ahead of us. We have 60 years to change absolutely everything. People are dying right now. Five years after Greta Thunberg and uh, Roger Hallam launched their respective movements, uh, cl climate movements seem to have hit a wall in the sense that they didn't become part of UN governance, but then the UN secretary says we are a highway to hell, so who's going to take care of us? And so the point, of course, of autonomous movements has always been we take care of ourselves. Currently, in the East African region, there's an, a pipeline that is being constructed, which will be the longest pipeline in the world. This pipeline poses a number of dangers to climate, to nature and to the people at large. So the people in these areas are being displaced in order to concentrate to construct this pipeline. And then when it comes to climate, it's going to produce uh, around 34 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. This main struggle we're having in, in this part of Mexico uh, about uh, the wrongly called uh, Tren Maya is it opens more the door for extractivism to get installed in this originally Mayan land is like 20% passengers and the rest is fully commercial. They would like to take oil, gasoline, and things like that with the train all over the peninsula. Now we are marching because we think that the next Winter Olympics that will happen in Italy, in Milano and close to Venice in 2026 are going to be a very unsustainable event. So they use a lot of words like sustainability and transition and techno solutions, but we really think it is all bullshit. Today we said that we would make assemblies, but even actions. And with this action we are saying that we want to take again to free a space that was public but has been privatized for the Olympic Games. We have fought together in San Solin. We have been together in Lutzerat. We have been together in many different places fighting. We have been in Val di Susa. We have been in, uh, in uh, Messina against the Ponte, against the bridge. And what we are saying is very simple. Our territory as many others are attacked by a system that wants to extract life, attack directly at roots of life, water, land, air. We are asking the Euro vote, them, <laughs> the people in Europe, to understand what is their own role in this process of colonization and expropriation of the lands. The emissions were emitted by northern capitalist countries and the victims, uh, the worst victims of climate change live in the south of the world. And there could be an ordinary number of deaths in 20, 30 years in subtropical zones. I mean, this is like the highest moral injustice in humankind. So we have to take action internationally because it's an international, um, mainly European made world problem. People in the global north, especially in Europe, uh, they can uh, urge their governments to stop funding our destruction. For example, the French people, because Total is the main funder of this pipeline. 
So uh, people in the in Europe, especially from France, can call up can call out Total to stop funding this pipeline because it's funding our destruction. Five ten years is really the time horizon we have uh, for revolution. I mean, so it's clear it is now into like abstract rhetoric. And revolution means taking over and burning down the palace of power from Armenia to Portugal to Uganda to or not, if you manage to put 50,000 people like the Indignados uh, foot on a major central square for weeks on end, man, every power is shaken. We can do that those against fossil capital. The climate crisis is the result of the way of living of the, the most privileged person in the world. And it can be a, a, a global climate justice movement if we put in the center that we need justice for all the people.